Steven, we obviously know you because of Big Time Rush. Sure, of course, obviously. Can you tell the viewers that, for some reason, don't um, a little bit about yourself and your character? Sure, sure. Um, we are, I play Gustavo Rock on the Nickelodeon hit show Big Time Rush. We are currently in our fourth season of the show, and um, we're um, we're kicking kicking butt. We're in, a bunch of our cast is nominated for Kids Choice Awards this year, and the band on the show, which I play the producer of is nominated for best band so they better win or I'm going to I'm going to come find someone knock somebody out that's what's going to happen you'll destroy them I will I will as always now being a, now being this big producer on Big Time Rush uh, how do you get into character how do you how do you organize a band well you know it's very easy for me to get into character because I'm very noisy as a person like I'm a very loud no. yeah no Right now, very quiet. Very, it's, it's relaxing. It's a very relaxing place. But in public, I'm very like, an, like uh, irritating. And like, I have a, I have a megaphone that I bought that's in my car. That would help. And I drive around and I yell at like tourists and stuff like that with it. Like, so this is, you know, this fits in very well for me because then I get to go to work and I get to yell at a bunch of, you know, kids. And uh, and then I get hit, and then I usually get hit in the face with like a pie, or get run over by a bus. That seems about right. It's the perfect job. It is. It really is for me. It's the perfect job. I like it. Now we were just talking about how you too are from Canada. We are both Canadians. We are. It's true. That's right. I was in. Uh, you're from Vancouver. I was in Vancouver shooting big time movie, which took place in London, but we pretended like it was Vancouver. What the else? magic of movies. We pretended Vancouver was London. I was going to try to... I got what you meant. Yeah, it was cool, though. Vancouver is cray-cray. And why do you say that? It's crazy, man. We were downtown for a month and a half, staying at the... Sut the S S San Sutford? The Sutford? Stanford? Not sure, but sure. The Starbucks? We were at the yeah. Starbucks? Um, now there's 42 of those downtown, yeah, exactly. so I'm sure you hit one of them. One of those. Um, Sutton Place. We were at the okay. Sutton Place. And then when they moved us to Vic Victoria to shoot at the Empress Hotel. And we stayed at the Empress Hotel for like a month, maybe? And it was terrifying. Why? Because that place is haunted. Oh. It's a very scary... Have you ever been there? No. It's haunted. <laughs> now I'm not going to go. Do not go. Absolutely terrifying now the big time movie can you tell us a little bit about that why why from the show to a movie well you know it was like it was a tv movie but it was it was like the boys going to london and trying to have some sort of amazing experience and it, it was really funny it was a big action movie it was very very silly very silly movie and a month in vancouver what, what did you guys do aside from shooting uh a lot of i ate a lot uh cried a lot no, I'm just kidding. Um, I Vancouver can do that to you. I got a moped and drove moped around. Um, yeah, we just kind of messed around and just had a crazy time. It was good. It was really good. It's a cool place. And has the movie been aired yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It aired uh, maybe eight months ago, but it's it was a big hit. Big hit for the network. And will it be available on DVD? It, it is. It is available right now on DVD. There you go. Go out and pick up your, your copy on the DVDs. The go, DVDs, the, go to the, the go to the blockbuster that doesn't exist anymore, right. and buy. I guess I should have said, "Is yeah. it available online?" Go buy Garbage Pail Kids, the movie, and other things that don't exist anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> go buy the the laser disc version of Big Time Movie. It's amazing. It's terrific. Maybe Netflix. Netflix. You can Netflix it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. iTunes it. Cool iTunes it. It's I been like. A pleasure. And you have you have more coming up. I do. That I want to talk to you about quickly. I want to talk. Tell me. Good. What do you want to talk Good about? stuff. I want to know what's coming up. Well, you know, uh, I started um, fighting in the ring recently. Okay. I'm glad you said in the ring. Yeah. No. I'm now I'm street fighting a lot. I'm doing a lot of serious street fighting. Um, do I do the boxing, the kickboxing? UFC. How's that going for you? MMA, Hi, is this you? F NFL, all that stuff. <laughs> well. Constantly fighting people and hugging people. I'm also in a hugging club, so like I, I get together with all the guys I fight, and then I we we all hug it out. Not just a fighter, but a lover too. I'm a lover and a fighter. I like it. I'm both. 
Thank you so much for your time. I have one more question. Of course. That I have to ask you because Please. you're such a fun person. Please. It is about your socks. Oh my God, I love your shoes. My shoes? It, it's the question's about the socks, but I got distracted by your shoes. Oh wow! Um, what was yeah, the socks uh, I, it's completely gone. Uh, what type of socks are you wearing? Today? I'm wearing white socks. They are they are made of lace, and they were hand handcrafted on my body by a small Japanese man. Sexy. It's 100 percent true. <laughs> I hire him to come over every morning and sew socks onto my feet. It's very expensive. I can honestly say that's the best story I've heard. I've lost a lot of money doing this. It may, may have been a bad choice. But I bet your feet are nice and smooth and comfy. They are. They're silky smooth. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you.